Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 12th January, ISRO has tested the cryogenic engine which is going to be used for Gaganyaan mission. Now as per the latest update, ISRO has tested its another engine which is Vikas 2. The test was conducted on January 20. 2022 in which the high thirst vikas engine for gaganyan program has been successfully undergone qualification test for a duration of 25 seconds at isro propulsion complex mahendragiri tamil nadu with regard to the vikas engine qualification for the gaganyan program two engines have already undergone test under normal operating conditions for a total durations of 480 seconds the test carried out today is to verify the robustness of the engine by operating beyond its nominal operating conditions. The performance of engine met the test objectives and the engine parameters were closely matching with the prediction during the entire duration of the test. The rocket which is going to be used in Gaganyaan is going to be GSLV Mark III launch vehicle. It is a three-stage rocket which has two solid strap-ons, a core liquid booster and a cryogenic upper stage. The powerful cryogenic stage of GSLV Mark III enables it to place heavy payloads into lower Earth orbits of 600 km altitude. In stage 1 or the first stage, the rocket is propelled with the help of two solid strap-ons S200 boosters attached to the sides of the rocket. The stage 2 is core stage or L110 liquid stage powered by a pair of liquid propelled Vikas 2 engines. The stage 3 is cryogenic upper stage C25 powered by cryogenic engines CE20. It is India's largest cryogenic engine designed and developed by the Liquid Propulsion Systems Center. The cryogenic engine will undergo four more tests for a cumulative duration of 1810 seconds. Subsequently, one more engine will undergo two short duration tests and one long duration test to complete the cryogenic engine qualification for Gaganyan program. For Vikas 2 engine, three more tests are planned for a cumulative duration of 75 seconds under varying operating conditions. Subsequently, another high thrust Vikas engine will undergo a long duration test for 240 seconds to complete the Vikas engine qualification for Gaganyan program. Once these tests are complete, the GSLV Mark III rocket will be ready to carry humans to space as a part of Gaganyan mission. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.